It's like it's become a thing where I have an establishing shot of water. Oh, Steinbeck, thank you. All right, so Steinbeck ruined that establishing shot of water. Let's find some more water and do a different establishing shot. That's better. All right, in today's hike log, we're going to hike up to the Ralph Price Reservoir and Button Lake Dam. Uh, and uh, so at the very beginning of the walk, there's these nice cascades. Great place for practicing some long exposure photography, especially if you have a big camera because you've only got to walk a little bit. And then immediately at the beginning, we have the dam. That, well, short hike log today, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you in the next video. Unless, of course, that's not the dam we're supposed to go to. And, of course, good news for everybody. That's not the destination. It's just the very beginning. It is a very good fishing hole, uh, judging by the number of people who were there fly fishing when I walked past it both times. So also another really good place to practice some long exposure photography. So the, the fire road out from the parking lot is super easy and it goes past this little reservoir. If it has a name, I didn't catch it right near the beginning. Very picturesque scene, uh, very nice water reflections, good rocks and forest around it. And it's of course fed by the same creek that goes past the parking lot. And the fire road is super, super easy to walk on, very flat, and it's going to continue that way up until a little bit past where we're at now, right here, where we're going to veer off of the fire road and pick up the Sleepy Lion Trail. The fire road wraps around and goes, it might be a service road for the dam, but it goes out to the real Button Rock Dam, which we'll get to later, and the reservoir. So here is the trail into the woods and it starts off easy enough like this and actually it's it's realistically only got a couple of challenging parts the majority of the hike is not too steep not too rocky and very well marked the woods are incredibly peaceful very quiet the day that i hiked it it was a wonderful uh, perfect hiking weather oh that is overexposed i don't even know what i did wrong there all right okay let's uh, go back to the hike and it's very quiet there's not a ton of sound from the trees at least unless when i was there anyway because there wasn't a strong wind and the trees do give you a really nice amount of shade meaning that this is a fairly nice hike the majority of it if you are doing it on a warmer day there are some places where there are some meadows. We'll see those in just a couple of moments. And also hiking along the fire road uh, or the service road, whatever it is, that latter part, the road is incredibly unpleasant to hike. I got to hike it in full sun in the afternoon when it was, uh, it was in the low 90s. So this part of the hike when I was doing it was very cool and very lovely. And then when it got hot and sunny and I was in the most exposed, unshaded part of the hike, it was a little bit rougher. So after that initial forest, there's a really nice, really nice meadow. Wonderful, wonderful views up here with of the mountains and uh, just pretty much stereotypical, picturesque Colorado meadow scenery. It was a very, very lovely break. After that, we get into a, an area with some really character-filled trees where they exhibit uh, the evidence of damage or age, wind, things like that, that has really done a lot to take some of these trees, <laughs> the trees, <laughs> and twist them around on themselves until they look like um, little natural bonsai trees. These are the types of trees that I think are the most enjoyable to photograph. They are the least challenging. I'll be open about that. But I think the shape of these wind twisted trees, especially when their branches are coming around on themselves. And if you can get trees where the wind has caused them to actually rotate and you can see the rotation in the trees, it's really uh, pretty fantastic. 
uh, in terms of photography, the textures and the shapes, especially for black and white work, really work well together on these, on these contorted trees. Steinbeck uh, does not like having his video taken, by the way, and he is pretending the camera's not there. So in this section, it, it's where it starts to get rocky and uh, there are some roots and things like that. This is the hard part of the trail. It, it's still gonna, the trail's by and large very easy, except for this part, which is sort of a, a, a hard moderate. And it goes up through the woods and uh, just back and forth on itself. It's very switchy. There are lots of roots, lots of rocks. Uh, I didn't have to climb any of them, but I did have to take some really high steps. Some other hikers I passed who were significantly shorter than me uh, did have to actually do a little bit of climbing. And uh, while I was here though, I did get the chance to take my test roll for the next Star Trek movie so that uh, I can direct it and make it look like J.J. Abrams directed it with all of this flair. Uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. So at any rate, uh, Steinbeck, generally does a really good job of trail following. He's got a good sense of where we're gonna go and he's pretty good about following the trail. Even without looking at me, I don't know how he does it. It's really impressive. And uh, even on hard trails, he's really good at knowing the direction we're headed. So that part of the trail, he lost the trail a little bit and he was able, you know, he was climbing up rocks and things like that, trying to find it, um, but uh, he did have some fun there. And then at the top of this area, we get our first look at the reservoir. And this is a glimpse of the actual dam that we're here to see. The dam itself isn't honestly all that exciting. It's, uh, it's a fairly standard dam. There is a, an interesting um, output that we'll see in a, a few moments, uh, maybe more than a few moments. And um, the reservoir itself is exceedingly, exceedingly calming, very quiet and peaceful, uh, very pretty. So uh, it was a very nice place to stop and have lunch. And as you can see through all of the J.J. Uh, Abrams flair here in this section, this is where really the trail was the hardest. And Steinbeck had a little bit of trouble hopping up some of these rocks. And you can see here he's uh, leading me up the hard way. He sometimes likes to do that. But he does, uh, he does really, really well with these. So as you can see, looking at how ridiculously ripped our dog is from all of this hiking. So here's the dam and the reservoir. And down in the bottom right of the dam, you might see that little white fan. That's the output that we're going to see significantly closer than we are right now. And the amount of power of, on that output is really incredible. It's... Uh, it was just, it doesn't sound really powerful in there. So even when we hear it in the audio, it doesn't sound intense, but the amount of water and the energy in it was, uh, was something else. So I'm gonna give you guys a moment here to hear what the forest sounded like as we were hiking in it. This really is what it sounds like when Steinbeck and I hike. Uh, the, the tick key on my bag kind of jingles against my water bottle. His dog tag sometimes hits the flashlight on his harness if he's wearing a harness with one. And so it's basically footfalls, the creaking of my backpack, and a couple of things uh, jingling. Other than that, it's very, very quiet on the trails. So here's that, that outfall area. I honestly don't know what the word for those are. It's not a spillway. And here's what it sounds like. So it basically sounds like static. Um, but it is also another really nice place to practice long exposure photos. So 
One of the nice things about areas like that with splashing water is that the sound in the background and the little bit of extra moisture in the air always makes it a very relaxing place to stop and have a snack before lunch. So after that area, Steinbeck and I continued on. I was fully expecting at this point to head back to the car. It was starting to get a little bit warm, but we decided to take a detour and go up to the actual reservoir, figuring it would add a couple of miles, and it, it does. It's a nice detour to take, and it takes you past a couple of additional waterfalls, which we'll see in uh, just a couple of moments here, past some creek areas and things like that, places that are really nice to stop and get some photos uh, or just enjoy the surroundings for a minute. So those are all different waterfalls along the, um, the spillway creek out of the, uh, the reservoir up here. And uh, they, they just, there were so many of them. I think there were, there were three, there were two here, there, the upper two there, and then the lower one, and then the, the single one we saw a moment ago that just were really fantastic to look at and really accessible to the trail. If you were looking for a very easy trail or one that is very, very accessible for the majority of people who would have challenges with other types of trails, this would be one. The service road and then the, the road out to the reservoir are flat, very well gr graded, and uh, very easy to take. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but these last couple of clips have had audio of the actual lake. So you can see that there's just, it's so, so, so quiet on these uh, hikes out here. And this is the reservoir, very peaceful place. After that, Steinbeck and I decided to head on back to the car. You can see here, he's uh, overheating pretty well. He went through all of his water. He carries his own water. Um, go on and uh, did pretty well about not overheating, but it did get really warm. So here's a couple of other, there's four or five other photos here that I took along the way of the creeks, just to kind of give you an idea of the sense of the place. And uh, if you're looking to hike it, very easy, very accessible hike. If you're looking to photograph it, lots and lots of very good opportunities for uh, photographic subjects. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next hike log.